up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. After Bella decorated her dorm room, she gave me the envelopes that her posters came in. And I was like, yeah, because they have little mini posters all over them. So I thought it would be fun to make a little college dorm room scene using those mini posters. And a few things we picked up at the dollar store. We're going to focus on making a loft bed with a desk underneath it. And I thought we could use these little wooden pallets. I have a total of six, three for each side to lift the bed. We could just glue them together but I want one of the sides to look like a ladder. So we need to remove a few of the planks. They are glued down and have a small tack in them. I'm using a little rubbing alcohol to soften the glue. This does take a little while and can peel up your nail polish. Every couple of minutes, I just push on it to see if it's loose. Ah, and we got it. Be careful, there are little pieces of metal. I'm using pliers to remove them. This really is a test of patience. Don't try to force it because you could split the wood. Just keep at it and make sure you are in a well ventilated area. I have three that I have removed two boards from for one side. Then for the other side, I removed two boards from one pallet one board from a second pallet and kept the last one as is. Sand the rough edges. I bought this wall shelf at the dollar store for $1.25. We are going to use this as the platform for our bed. I take a few jumbo craft sticks. I cut the ends, then take two and line it up to the edge of the platform. Glue two more on top, going over the seam to make a longer craft stick. Repeat to make more. I made a total of four. Now let's assemble our bed. I glued together three of the pallets, then glued together the other pallets. While waiting for them to dry, let's build a box room. I have some used 12 by 12 inch wooden panels from a previous video. Note to self, peel and stick wallpaper from the dollar store is not easy to remove. In my experience, of course. I have two that I'm going to glue together for the floor. I just used a little hot glue to attach them. I have four 11 by 14 inch boards and a picture frame. I trace the picture frame on one of the boards, then cut on the line drawn to make an opening to fit the frame. Only we're gonna flip it around and use the other side. Before we glue the frame in, Let's glue the walls onto the floor. I glued one corner first, then I add the other back wall, then the side with the window. We are left with a little bit of a gap since the walls are 11 inches and the floor is 12. So I take a scrap of foam board, cut two pieces the height of the walls, glue them together, making a right angle, then glue it into the room, then I made a small platform out of foam board and glue it under the window. Now let's paint the walls. I think I made it too yellow. I was going for eggshell. So I'm mixing white and a really dark brown and I've got a light taupe. Let's add that to the walls. It kind of looks gray, but we're gonna just let it dry and come back to it. The bed or the loft is going to take up a lot of space. And since that is the main focal point of the room, we're going to make a faux closet over here. But first, I remember that there were these electrical cords or external electrical wiring. So I cut a thin piece of craft foam, add a little glue, then attach it to the wall. I picked up wood hanging decor boards from the dollar store. I paint them brown. I'm keeping the paint thin so we can see that wood grain to make faux closet doors. While drying, let's take two of those dollar store dressers. I'm going to glue them back to back, cut leftover wood from the window cutout to glue on top, then paint it. 
I'm painting the knobs gold. I cut two pieces of a wooden dowel. Let's paint those gold as well. Let's go in with a little darker brown paint and add some shadowy areas, making sure to blend the colors and make it look like that college dorm room furniture that has been around for a while. And I think this piece is pretty much done. Let's take another dollar store dresser, take the cutout from the window and cut a long board. This board is about six inches. We're gonna use it as the top of our desk. I cut a small board to just go on the side to fill in a possible gap. Then I glue on another outer board, then one across the top. I take a few more scraps and we're just gonna even it out a little. Let's glue two scrap pieces of wood together, then glue another piece right underneath, then a small strip on the end. Then let's glue it underneath for a little keyboard shelf. Let's add the gold wooden dowels to the doors. While those are drying, let's paint the desk. We have so many projects going on at once, but we are trying to take advantage of that drying time. And let's paint the parts for the bunk bed or the, the loft as well, since we already have the paint out. Oh no, I'm running out of brown paint. Those are two different color browns. But you know what? We're gonna make it work. We can just dry brush everything with the new color and make it all go. While that's drying, let's put the frame in the window. I cut leftover pieces of wood to make a frame using some of the inserts. I paint it black. Now we have another thing we need to wait for to dry. While waiting, let's lay down the floor. I picked up two dish drying mats at the dollar store. Bella had carpet in her dorm, so I thought we could use this. I stretch and glue it down and added another one to finish it off. But I did not pay attention to the direction of the grain, so make sure you do that before you glue it down. Now we can glue on our faux closet doors to hopefully give the illusion that there is a built-in closet. Let's add the glass and the frame to the window. Then I just fold the brackets over to hold it in place. And if you don't want to use real glass, you can replace it with clear plastic from packaging. That's what I did because my glass didn't fit. I must have made the cutout a little too tight. But now we totally have our room. I think it's a pretty nice wooden box room using mainly stuff from the dollar store. Let's assemble the loft bed. I'm gonna have this side facing out. So I'm gonna take the platform and we're gonna glue it to that level. Add the other one on the other side. Add the craft sticks going across for support. I added two at the top on the sides of the platform to help hold the mattress and the other two underneath. Let's touch up the paint, add gold knobs to the desk. Then I glue the desk underneath the bed. I take leftovers from the carpet and cut it to the size of the platform. I was able to cut two, so I stack and glue them together. I cover with fleece or felt, then cover with a layer of fabric. To make a mattress, let's put the bed in the room Let's run some fairy lights through the pre-drilled holes in the platform. I attach the battery pack to the other side that will be facing the wall. I ended up wrapping the wire so that could keep all the lights under the bed. Then add the mattress. I place the bed against the wall. Add our dresser. I begin cutting out those pictures from the envelope. I begin attaching them to the walls with a little poster putty spreading them out all over the room. Let's add bedding. I'm going with a green floral print and we're gonna just place it on top. We're not gonna make the bed. We're gonna just leave it all unmade. Add a few pillows, our printable laptop, a couple of books, one of our paper house plants. Let's add some of our back to school supplies, one of our printable tablets. We can put that right here a pencil, cell phone, so she can call her mother, of course. 
And Bella has a tote bag. So we're gonna use this one from our Snoopy Remint Resize It video. And I'm gonna use this chair from Amazon. Is it accurate to the inspo? No, but we're gonna do it anyway. I moved over a few of the little posters to make room. Bella does have a few plushies on her bed. So I'm using a Squishville Squishmallow and a mini Care Bear to finish the look. And now we have a miniature dorm room for our miniature Bella. And a lot of this was made using items we found at the dollar store. Thank you for joining us while we tried to recreate some of Bella's dorm room. We'll get a mini fridge later. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff the frog vlog and bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time <laughs>